Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at the Pro Micro Board, which you can see on my breadboard. And the microcontroller that's used is the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller, which you can see here. Now, it's very similar to the Atmega 328P microcontroller, which is used on the Nano. You can see here, it has a very similar core. But what makes this microcontroller stand out is that it has onboard USB support. So this USB connector is connected directly to the pins of the microcontroller. There's no need for a USB to serial chip, an FTDI chip, like you could see on the Nano. So that frees up a UART in the microcontroller, and the UART is on pins 1 and 2. So pins 1 is the TX output, and pin 2 is the RX input. So we're going to write some code, and we're going to write some code in fourth, some very simple code. I have flash fourth running on the, on the microcontroller. And we could send data out the TX output pin, that's pin 1, and I'll have a scope hooked up to pin 1. So we could actually monitor the data being sent of the TX output port. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. And I have a USB cable from my computer to the Pro Micro board, which is powering the board. And I'm gaining access to the fourth operating system through the USB connector on the Pro Micro board. So if I type return on my keyboard, I get an OK prompt. So I'm communicating with the Pro Micro board through the fourth operating system. If I type warm, that will do a warm reset. And there's flash forth, which is running on the Pro Micro, and the microcontroller is that Mega 32U4. Now, if I type words, these are all the words available on flash forth. So every one of these words is a little chunk of code. So we build up our program just like building with Lego, block by block. We use these words. So the words we're going to look at for uh, sending data out the UART, the TX output, is going to be TX0, which you can see here, and we're going to use the word emit. I'll demonstrate some code using the word emit. And that's going to be very simple code that we could use to send data out the UART port. Okay, next, we are going to have a look at the fourth word emit, which is in the dictionary. Now, emit means to send out or to discharge, like a LED emits light or a candle emits light. So if I type 65 emit, now 65 is the ASCII character code for a capital A and emit means to send out to the screen or the terminal. So if I hit enter, I get a capital A on the screen. If I type 97 emit, now 97 is an ASCII character code for a lowercase a. So if I hit enter, I get a lowercase a out to the screen. Now a microcontroller does not know what a letter is. All it knows is numbers. So we come up with an ASCII chart which makes numbers corresponding to letters. So now we could actually embed numbers in our code which will represent letters. So now if I type 65 TX0, so instead of using emit, I'm using TX0, and that's going to send out a capital A out the UART port, the TX output. So if you look at the scope, you can see a capital A was sent out the TX uh, pin on the UART. If I type 97 TX0, and you look at the scope, you see it sent out a lowercase a out the TX pin. Uh, pin on the UART. So that's a very easy way that we can send out now characters out the UART just by sending the ASCII code and then sending TX0 and that will put the, the, the letter corresponding to that ASCII code out the TX pin on the UART. Okay, instead of having my scope hooked up to pin 1 of the Pro Micro board, that's the UART output, I have it connected up to a LoRa radio module. It's made by eByte, it's the E32 series and it runs on the 915 megahertz ISM band. So every time we send a character out pin 1 from the UART, it's going to be entered into the LoRa radio module. It will be transmitted out the antenna to another module about a mile away. Now the data output from the Pro Micro is 5 volts, so I have a voltage divider cutting it down to 3.3 volts to enter it into the RX pin. Now I have a radio on tuned to 915 megahertz. So every time we send a character out to TX pin, and enters into the lower radio module, we could actually hear it being sent on my radio that's tuned to 915 megahertz. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. And it's connected to my Pro Micro board, which is connected to my LoRa radio module. So now if we do 65 emit, like we did before, sends a capital A to the screen. Now if we go 65 TX0, you listen, it's be sent out the LoRa radio module. I'll do it again. TX0. Now if we go 72 emit, 
and then we do 105 emit now 72 is a capital H 105 is a lowercase I so we'll print the words high so we'll send that you see it sends high so if we go 72 TX 0 and 105 TX 0 and we send that it's going to send high over the radio and you heard it so we can make a word called greeting so that puts it into the co compiler mode and that's our program called greeting and we'll go 72 TX 0 and then we'll do 105 TX 0 and we'll take it out of compiler mode put it in interpret mode so now we made a word called greeting so now if I run greeting it sends greeting it sends hi over the radio so I could do that multiple times I'll just copy and paste it you could hear it being sent so it's a simple way how we could send data out our UART into the LoRa radio module okay next we are going to look at some advanced coding now if you look at the top of the screen I've created a buffer called buff and I've allotted 80 bytes to it so I reserved 80 bytes for this buffer now inside this buffer we could put text and then the word to radio will take that text and send it to the LoRa radio module so what to radio does it takes the address of the buffer and the length of the buffer how many characters are in the buffer and it will TX0 each one of those characters and it will send it out the uh, UART into the radio so my main word is called LoRa.type and I'm using to radio inside the, this, uh, this word so I type on the keyboard up to 80 characters it will accept up to 80 characters and put it into the buff and then it will send it out the UART to the radio so we'll run LoRa.type so we'll run it now whatever I type, if I type hello sends it out the radio, do it again sends hello world, so if I copy and paste that okay to select the baud rate of the UART we go to the data sheet and we look up the UART baud rate register settings for a system clock of 16 megahertz and if we look at the chart we can see for 9600 baud we have a setting of 103 so we put that into UART baud rate register if we want a baud rate of 19.2 it's 51 if you want 38.4k that's 25 that's the default 115.2k would be 8 so there's all our settings that we we could uh, select we could put into the UART baud rate register to select all these baud rates from 2400 all the way up to 1 megabit now to find the address of the UART baud rate register we go to the data sheet and we can see there's two bytes there's a high byte and a low byte so here's our our low byte and the low byte starts at CC and the high byte is CD so that's where we enter our baud rate register values to select our baud rate for our UART okay here's some code written in fourth that will select the baud rate of the UART so if you wanted to select 9600 baud I made a word called 9600 baud so if you type that at the OK prompt it will put the value 103 in the starting address hex CC that's the low byte and it does a store now this is a 16-bit store so it actually will send the low byte and the high byte the value 103 starting at address CC which is the low byte so if I type 9600.baud at the OK prompt I get an OK so now my UART is set for 9600baud OK so that was my little introduction to the Pro Micro board with the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller running Flashforth and the purpose of the video is to show just how simple it could be to interface the microcontroller to any kind of device in this case a LoRa radio module through the UART and using very simple code. Now by using the TX0 command we could build upon that and we could get it up and running in no time. You don't have to write pages and pages of code. So it's just a little example how we could use some words already built into Flashforth. Now a lot of times I get requests for code but sometimes it's just the code on the Flashforth itself. So have a look at the words in Flashforth and you could build upon the TX0 word and you can come up with a very complex application.